Hello and welcome back to VA Techworks. So today we are going to look at a try catch versus async handler. And a try catch and sync handler are the ways of catching errors in your Node.js application. So we are going to look at how we can transform a code that uses try catch here to start using async handler here. And this is because you find that in many routes that you create in Node.js, you need to add try catch here. And this is to prevent your server from crashing if there is any error. So that try catch here will help you to catch those errors before they crash your server. So if we go to this, um, presentation here you can see a sync handler is a simple middleware for handling exception inside of a sync express routes and uh, passing them to your express error handlers so in every route that you are going to create or any controller you need to make sure that you uh, you wrap your controller using a sync handler and we are going to look at that we are going to create a simple application a simple express application that you are going to implement a sync handler and also make sure that you understand why a sync handler will make your work easier and also it will make your code clean so for the try catch here for those people who don't know try catch uh, blocks are uh, blocks that are used within a synchronous route handlers and middlewares to handle exception that might occur during the execution of the code the main purpose of try catch blocks is to capture and manage error aggressively so that to ensure that your server doesn't doesn't crash and that proper and uh, proper handling the errors uh, so what we are going to do now is to look at our application. We are going to create a simple application using Express so that you can understand how to use uh, Express or to use a sync handler rather than using now try catch so that you know how to make your work easier and also to make your work clean because as a developer you need to know how to make your code at risk clean and also to make your work easy right here i have a blank application and you can see this application i don't have any file i want to initialize my node application inside here so that i can show you how to use a sync handler so right here i'm going to uh, to open a terminal as usual and uh, inside here i'm going to make sure that i initialize node application i'm going to cross this debug console and also this port i'm going to be left with this uh, terminal so if i come here and uh, now initialize a uh, node.js using npm init and then dash y here so if i do that you'll be able to see that a file here will be generated called package.json and already you know how the uh, uh, how to initialize this um application node application so here i'm going to add a file called index.js like that and then here i'm going to install some packages i'm going to install a few packages so i don't want to make this a uh, complicated application because it's just to show you how not to use try catch and be able to use async handler so here i'm going to at least use npm and then install i'm going to install express i'm going to install dot env although i don't know if I, i'm going to use dot env and also i'm going to use async uh, express it is called express async handler like that let me install those and uh, we can check for uh, express async handler here so let's look at ex uh, express async handler you can be able to see this here from npm or the package manager you can see how to install this express async handler here and how to use it so i'm going to uh, come up here again so it is still installing here so what i'm going to do is to uh, make sure that i import my express so import express here uh, express like that and then here i'm going to require express so because i'm using common js so this one will be just expressed like that and then here i can be able to uh, use app so initialize app so this is app and then i'm going to call the express function like that so after here because here also you can see that uh, all packages have been installed i'm going to push this down so in here i'm going to add and reason because this is a server that you are going to create so this server is running on plate 
8800 and then we are going to have a callback function here where we can be able to at least uh, show that our console log here and say server is running server uh, server let me add here server is running on port 8000 like that and then i think after this now uh, what we can do is that we can create another another file here that is route so let's have a route here and uh, or routes and also we can have a controllers here because this is how you create your express application or node application this is controller so for example let's say we have a route here and this route is a uh, user dot route and then dot ts uh, dot js because you are not using typescript like that and then also inside here we can be able to use user and then dot now what we call a uh, controller and then dot js like that so here i'm going to for example create a function so this one will be for example register user register user like that and then this one will be just a sync uh, here we are going to have a like for example a sync and then here we can be able to add everything here so if we have this also we can have another one here for logging uh, user like that uh, assuming this is a uh, authentication so this one also have a uh, here like that and then we can export this to uh, controllers using a uh, module dot exports like that and then we can be able to add them register here and also we can use login here login user can be able to export them so that we can come up here and then be able to at least import express so we are going to import express here from uh demi require uh, require express here express like that and then i'm going to create router so const router and then this is from express now i call the express function and then i use i use router function and then here i need to use module dot exports and then i'm going to export router here like that so another thing is here i'm going to at least import also i'm going to import uh I'm going to import a login user let me first of all import from now uh, from the folder controllers and in here i can be able to import you a uh, login user so this one should have a login user and then also register user and uh, because this one i have not identified here should i have uh, should have identified that i need to import it from user and controller so that if i come here you can be able to see register so uh, let me see here yeah register user i don't know why i don't have those so let me first of all make sure that i save this and uh, also let me save this and when i come up here i can be able to get login user and also register user so i cannot be able to see register i can only see register here and that's because i'm exporting just register here which it is i need to at least add a register user here so in here i need to add register user like that and then that means now we can use that route so i'm going to come up here and uh, another thing that i can do here is to accept a uh, cause so i have never have not um imported or used cause here so let me in install cause so in npm npm install cause like that and then the other thing is also i need to app app dot use and then i'm going to call express dot json like that so and then now 
the other thing is add a router so let me i'm going to import user router uh, or route from i'm going to import it from now uh, remember from the route uh, routes you can see it here and then from the user router or route sorry so here i can be able now to use uh, routes here i can be able to have routes here which i can add here app dot use and then here i can say api version one maybe version one and then users like that so i think now for the routes here i can be able to add now so for example i can use router dot post and then this one will be slash login and then i can call now the login user here as fast as that uh, so here i can use a router dot uh, post again for this one if this one would be register like that and then this one will also register user so right here register user actually i have done it wrong so here it should have a register user like that so after that now what i can do let me format my code using pretty and then i can save that and from here now uh this is uh, where you have your your logic so inside here you'll find that you need to have a try catch uh, here to be able to at least catch your error grace free and uh, prevent your server from crashing also inside here you find that you have the this uh, try catch here uh, so you'll find that in every uh, controller that you are creating or any functionality or any route you need to use try catch here and uh, this won't be optimized this is not an optimized way of doing this so what you can do is that is simple so to prevent using this or to avoid using try cut we can come up here and import i'm going to import a sync handler here like that and from actually i'm not using i'm not using module i'm using common js so i'm going to have a const there and then require so this one is require from express a sync handler you can be able to see it there so after that now now we can uh we can remove this try cut here and what you can do to be able to use a sync handler we are going to wrap this a uh, controller here using a sync handler so i'm going to add a sync handler here as a function and then i'm going to place in now this logic here uh, this the logic for registering that user the same here we are going to remove try cut here and i'm going to wrap everything inside here using uh using a sync handler so like that so this will have handled your error gracefully because this is a middleware that will pass the it will be able to pass the error to the uh to them uh, to your error so you can be able to see how easy and clean your code will be so you can write your code here very well knowing that you the sync handler here will be able to catch your errors and also i think um that is it that is what i wanted to show you in this tutorial and also remember to subscribe to this youtube channel also like this video and don't forget to turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time i upload a new video see you in the next video have a 